Hello friends and welcome to Generation Pixel. My name's Stuart and today a new series, Video Game Deathmatch. Two fairly compatible games matched up side by side. Only one can win, who will it be? Let's ring the bell for the very first video game deathmatch. In terms of graphical fidelity, Windbound just slightly edges ahead with its Breath of the Wild clone-esque style. Not perfect by any means, but stranded deep however, its graphics seem rooted quite in the 7th generation. And to be frankly honest, not even late 7th generation. It very much has the look of an early PlayStation 3 game. So Windbound delivers that first killer blow. Now as for gameplay, it's a much tighter contest. Both of them having similar survival and crafting gameplay elements. However, Windbound is slightly on the more arcadey side, whereas Stranded Deep much, much tougher. So it's for this extra element of difficulty that Stranded Deep throws and connects with the next punch. For the control scheme of the games, they're both again fairly similar. However, it seems that Windbound edges it in this department as it is slightly more intuitive. Stranded Deep has a somewhat clunky menu system, which frankly can be quite frustrating, especially for someone new to the game. And in many ways it seems like it's more suited towards a PC game than a console game. So only just, but still managing to connect, Windbound lands a control punch. Story is a part of these two games that is most drastically different. With Windbound, you do have a solid narrative that you're following, and it's that narrative that's guiding you towards the end game. Stranded Deep, however, barely tells you a thing. From the plane crash at the beginning, you get four or five tutorial steps to show you basic crafting and survival, and then the rest is purely left up to the player. So in many ways, you're basically playing yourself. And because the story in Windbound isn't quite as intricate as I normally expect, in this round, it has to be Stranded Deep for leaving you in the dark, giving you no story, no guidance, and certainly no hand-holding, which throws a definitive punch in this round. In this last round, there is a clear winner for me. Windbound, unfortunately, is a game that I've played through almost to the end once, and will probably never play it again. Not that it's a poor game, and not that it's not worth playing at least once, but for a game to entice me back, it needs to deliver something that I want to experience again and again. Now what Stranded Deep has delivered is something a little bit more unique. Despite the lack of high-end graphics or a deep story or any of the other bells and whistles that we've come to expect in games these days, Stranded Deep draws me back time and time again and it's purely for the fact that I want to try and survive one day longer because Stranded Deep without a doubt is the dark souls of survival games. So it's without hesitation that Stranded Deep throws the last punch in the last round. So there we have it folks, the end of the very first video game death match and the winner on points because there was no knockout punch in this contest, Stranded Deep. Thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed it please give us a like and if you want to watch more please subscribe, I make videos as often as possible. I've been Stuart, bye!